As part of a directed study, I conducted a qualitative study with purpose of sampling and in-person interviews with residents at an assisted living facility in Abbotsford. I had the privilege to sit down and hear the stories, the lived experiences of older adults living in assisted living during COVID. My specific area of focus was social connect connection and isolation. COVID-19 restrictions resulted in residents spending extended stints confined to their rooms, visitations were limited to window visits, and recreation activities were put on hold. So were they lonely, isolated? How were they able to maintain social connection despite the restrictions? How did they cope? Through thematic data analysis, the following four themes emerged. First was the notion that for some, things were much the same. Remarks such as, well at my age, most of my loved ones have passed on, I don't have many people left anyhow, highlighted social isolation that existed prior to the pandemic. Conversely, for some, things did feel very different. The lack of regular outings and routine activities was disappointing and disheartening, as even meals were eaten in personal rooms as opposed to the dining hall. Despite this, the resiliency of each of these older adults was clear. When asked about how they were coping and handling restrictions, many shared of hardships earlier in life that had contributed to a sense of emotional stability throughout the pandemic. Lastly, there was a general acceptance of the restrictions. Health officials often iterated the importance of protecting the elderly. However, the participants shared a desire to contribute and do their part by following these regulations themselves. So what are the implications? Social isolation existed prior to the pandemic, continued throughout, and still needs to be addressed. We should involve older adults in decisions affecting their health, even at the broader health policy level. And lastly, there's so much to be learned of the resilience and adaptability of old, older adults.